Welcome back to State of the Nation. The presidency on Friday took a swipe at some leaders who recently faulted President Muhammad Buhari led administration's way of handling the nation's security challenges, describing them as selfish leaders. The leaders of some social cultural organization led by the Northern Elders Forum, the NEF, had issued a communique accusing Buhari's administration of incompetence in handling the security situation in the country. But the presidency, in a statement by the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Garba Shehu, said it considered the communique as a shedding of crocodile tears by selfish leaders. Garba Ibrahim is the social commentator. He joins me from our Buja studios now. Thank you so much indeed for coming on the show. You heard it. The response from the presidency to the NEF in its communique is shedding of crocodile tears by selfish leaders. Is the NEF's communique a reflection of the thinking of civil society? Uh, thank you uh, so much. Thank you, Gimba, for having me. Uh, good evening, Nigerians. Uh, well, for what we've seen recently from the elders, it's the usual rhetoric. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say that because uh, it's always like waiting for something to happen and they will come out and make uh, issue their own statement. It's quite unfortunate. Leaders in a society should, in a way, prevent that kind of situation from happening. But uh, in our own case in Nigeria, is that the, 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 the reverse is the case, where you have to sit down and allow things to happen, and you now gather yourselves and bring out the communique and say, this is what is going to happen. And uh, it, it's quite unfortunate. Th this kind of communique always come at a point when uh, politicians or when the situation, the politics is heated, meaning that there 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 some other people are seeking for relevance and attention. Well, uh, that, that is my take on the community. And on the side of the government, the government also should, in a way, understand that there is no way you can achieve security without working in, uh, alongside with the leaders in the communities. Uh, meaning both the leader, I mean the <coughs> community of the leaders and the position of those in government is also, in a way, conflicting in the interests of the Nigerians and civil society organizations. We, want, we expect a situation whereby there should be prevention. Prevention is better than cure. Let the killings not happen. This is what we want to hear from government. But if the killings are happening and people expect us to say, OK, you come out and say this, and the other side, the government will now come and say, this is Baldadash and all that, we, we, we don't see where the citizens benefit from that kind of situation. So we are, we are caught in the middle, meaning citizens are helpless in, in, in between. They don't know what to do. Now, if, uh, Gimba, look at what has been going on. The late Emir of Kano was outrightly attacked by small, small boys belonging to Boko Haram sects. Ever since then, nothing was done. This is the same situation we are in today. You, uh, citizens don't travel on the road. You find situations the road are not safe. You can't move from one location to the other. Now, what are we talking about? Then politicians are telling us that, okay, some individuals are responsible. They are the ones instigating or sponsoring these killings. You know these people. You are saying this. You have the information. Why can't you act on the information? Are we going to sit down and be using the media, singing all the songs that we don't save our lives? But, but, Where is but, it taking us to? But uh, all so said, you, all said, uh, permit me to just butt in, uh, uh, Ibrahim. Uh, all said and done to this time. The Sultan of Sokoto has also been speaking. Now he said that there has been too much bloodshed in Nigeria. And if we don't tame the senseless killings of innocent people, we cannot see peace, we cannot have peace, we cannot have any development. You are from the northern part of the country, as a matter of fact. What will happen now that the Sultan seen, of course, he's seen as the leader of the Muslim uh, North speaking? Will this make any difference? Respectfully respectfully yeah it is expected that leaders like the sultan should come out and add his voice and make sure government take action but our concern is this before now sokoto zamfara kebi kaduna all these axes there have been serious killings the northeast we know is a den uh well thank god to the president buhari's efforts we have seen some sort of improvements but again what we're saying is why would these leaders want to speak when the blood is on the floor? Why won't they stop the blood from happening? Um, le le let's look at the security votes that the governors are actually doling out in the name of uh, taking care of security in their states. These leaders, including the Sultan and others, are involved in these spendings of the uh, uh, security votes. 
But are you saying that they share this money and at the end of the day without doing anything? So it is when it is time for them to speak to the media, they come forward? Is that what we're saying? No, 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 no. We don't want that to happen. Prevention, like I said, is better than cure. We need a situation whereby freely we can move around in our country, we can sleep with our eyes open, with our doors open, but for as long as we wait, the killings are still going on. And leaders are talking on the media. It's not stopping. So what's the essence of the talk? Now, now this is what we know. This, this is what we know. State governors in Nigeria have called for an end to, uh, of course, these killings as well. But it's not the first time that we're seeing this kind of a call uh, from even uh, the National Assembly, for instance, we've also seen this kind of call. But the governors want to see a drastic action taken to halt this bloodshed. Is this probable at all? You see, the, the, the governors give back. The, the governors are somehow uh, contradicting the, the whole statement coming from, uh, from, from them, I mean, from their own uh, maybe uh, states. My point here is this you have a security vote, you are the chief security officer of the state, and yet you don't tell people what is exactly happening. And you are also willing to take part in the blame game. So are you saying that you're, incap I mean, you're, you're incapacitated or you're incapable of taking care of the state? Now, again, we know the politics that is playing out. When you mentioned the National Assembly, the recent campaign about the state policing uh, or the state police is another issue that I think this insecurity crisis is being allowed to continue because it's another window to smuggle in this particular agenda where they will continue to promote the need for uh, state police what, which we know very well that we are not right for that. The, the kind of characters we have in a leadership position are these individuals that want to have everything for themselves, including the instrument of power, including the instrument of coercion, that is the force, the police. We, we, we're not comfortable with anybody looking at it from an angle that say, okay, this is an opportunity, let's bring in the state police. There are so many issues to look into before we agree to that. I must thank you so much indeed. Uh, unfortunately, that's the much time we can spend with you. Garba Ibrahim, a social commentator. Many thanks indeed for your thoughts indeed. And of course, to everyone who is watching us, thank you for watching. I am Gimba Umar, and this is State of the Nation.